Hi, consider this your formal invitation to join the sock cult. If you've been already thinking about joining, this is the perfect video for you because today I'm gonna to tell you my 10 reasons why you should start knitting socks. Hi guys, I'm Natalie and I like to create crochet, knitting, sewing, or really any kind of crafty content um, here on my channel. Just to give you a little background about myself, I was originally a strict crochet girly and don't get me wrong, I still love crocheting. I've been crocheting since middle school. In the past year, I've really gotten into knitting and it has been such a fun and rewarding experience for me. If you wanna see the first project that I ever knitted, I actually filmed a video about it and it was my sweater. Um, so I'll link that down below for you to watch after this video. When you first get into knitting, everything seems really, really intimidating and probably one of the most intimidating projects to me were socks. They just looked insane. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into my 10 reasons why you should start knitting socks, and these are in no particular order. Reason number one are socks are a super portable project. If you've ever knitted a sweater before or a shawl or even a blanket, you know that once you get to a certain point, this isn't something that you can take with you on the go. This is, I need to keep this at home and work on it at home kind of project. But with socks, they never get big. So they are always portable. Whenever I'm going somewhere and if there's a chance that I might have to be waiting for something, I just throw my socks in the back and the needles are little and the yarn you're using is little and the project itself is little. So it does not take up any space at all in your bag and it is so convenient when you're sitting waiting for your doctor's appointment to pop up your socks and do a couple rows or when you are at your cousin's soccer game, pop it up and work on a couple rows. Whatever the reason is, is I just love how I can take my project with me on the go and I don't have to worry about it ever getting too big. Reason number two is the heel turn is magic. If you don't know what I mean by the heel turn, it's basically the part on when, let me, let me show you. It's basically the part where you start to take the sock from being a tube to the shape of a foot. So on this sock right here, it would be this pink part is the heel turn. And when you start doing it, oh my gosh, you feel like a wizard or sorcerer or just you feel like you are magic because you're just doing these little stitches that you don't really feel like are doing anything. And then all of a sudden you look and there's a heel. It's there. There's a place for your heel to sit in your sock. And it is just so much fun. This probably sounds so silly, but the first time I did a heel turn on a sock, I was so impressed. Not only with the sock, but with myself. Like, I was able to do that. That was awesome. Reason number three kind of goes along with reason number two. It is so rewarding to watch your sock come to life. A lot of times with knitting projects, as you're knitting it, you know what it's gonna look like. You know how it's gonna work. If you're knitting a panel, it's gonna look like a panel. But with the sock, depending on if you're doing ankle down or toe up, I prefer to do ankle down personally, you're just starting with a tube. You're like, how is this gonna fit around my foot? And then you start doing the heel and then you pick up the gusset stitches and you start knitting the foot and then you do the toe and then all of a sudden you have a foot that you can put your foot into. <laughs> you have this shape. And it's just wild to me that knitting can do that. I don't know, it's just so rewarding and so much fun to watch your sock come to life. Reason number four is socks can teach you a lot of basic skills. So believe it or not, my second knitting project ever was a pair of socks. And I feel like that's pretty unconventional because a lot of times people think that socks aren't beginner friendly, but I completely disagree with that. And I would say making socks have helped me so much with those basic knitting skills that I will need to do other more, to do other complex projects or even simple projects. Some of the things that I learned from socks was how to do really nice ribbing, how to make sure my stitches looked consistent, 
how to decrease, how to increase, how to pick up stitches, um, how to do slip stitches, just working in the round in general, how to do a magic loop working in the round, which is a great skill to have, and so, so much more. Oh, and also how to do a Kitchener stitch, which is how you do the um, toe at the end. So there were just things that I know I will use these individual skills in other projects, and working on the socks was a great way for me to learn them. Reason number five, is socks naturally divide itself into different sections, which helps keep the project interesting and you don't get bored making the pair of socks. So I like to think of my sections as the first being the cuff slash ankle, I guess is what you would call it. Basically like the top part of the sock. Then you get into making the heel and the gusset kind of section and then last would be the foot part of the sock and you could say the toe is another section or you could kind of include that in the foot part and the reason why I really like this is sometimes I felt like when I was making a sweater you know there's this thing called being stuck on sleeve island or when you're making these panels or knitting in the round it just feels like you're doing the same thing for a really 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 long time and it gets really boring and sometimes it gets kind of unmotivated because, or unmotivating because it feels like your project is never going to end. But with the socks and the natural sections that it has, it gives me a place to work to. Like, okay, right now I'm doing the cuff because I'm working to the heel. Right now I'm working on the heel because I'm working to the foot versus like, Right now I'm knitting the torso of my sweater and I'm never gonna stop knitting the torso of my sweater. I just, that's just how my mind likes to work. I like sectioning things off and kind of thinking in my head what section I'm on and socks does that quite naturally for me. Reason number six is they are really easy gifts. If you're someone who really likes to gift people hand knitted items, I would highly consider making some socks. Um, and for a couple of reasons. One, it's a lot easier to guess someone's size for socks versus maybe a sweater. You really just kind of roughly need to know how big their foot is. And even if you don't know, there still are a lot of patterns out there that are really flexible to that size. Another reason that they're easy gifts is they don't take too long to make. So far, I would say to knit a pair of socks, it takes me around two weeks to do, and that's with me having a full-time job and only being able to work on them in the evenings and the weekends. On the other hand, if I was to knit a sweater for someone, it would take me a month to two months or even three months, depending on what type of yarn I'm using. So it's a lot quicker project if you are wanting to get someone a pair of socks. Also, everyone wears socks. I have yet to meet someone who doesn't wear socks so you know that you're they're gonna like them and they're going to use them number seven is hand knit socks are so unbelievably comfortable so i currently have three pairs of knit socks two which i've made and one which my friend has made and gifted to me and the first time that i put these on oh my gosh it is like the best hug for your foot and they're so warm and especially if you make them with wool they are really warm but they're not like a super hot sticky warm which sometimes you can get with like acrylic fuzzy kind of socks that you get like at the dollar tree or something i just feel so comfortable when i'm wearing my hand knit socks. Now I've only worn them in the winter because it is currently February right now. Um, I have not worn them in the summer. So I do think they're definitely more of a winter sock unless you use a yarn that's more breathable, breathe, uh, breathe, breathable for the summer. But for a winter sock, if you live somewhere that gets cold, these are so, so comfortable. I, they are so much more comfortable than I ever thought they would be. And just for that reason alone, I would knit the pair of socks just because of how unbelievably comfortable they are to wear. Reason number eight is there are endless possibilities of patterns that you can make or you can use to make socks. 
you can do different colors, you can do color work, you can do different stitches. Um, just with the three pairs that I own, each one is a different pattern. I have the first pair of socks that I made is the simple, just like stockinette, you know, you have your one by one ribbing, stockinette all the way around, and then there's like a slip stitch heel. Then I have the pair that my friend Charlotte made for me, and she did this super cool ribbing slash faux cable pattern on it and it just adds such a cool texture to it and then I have the most recent pair of socks that I've made and I decided to do some color work with it and I made the cutest pair of froggy socks ever. Now it is just in stockinette, but with the color work, it adds such a fun twist. And then I have the different color heel and toe too. If you just take five minutes to scroll on Pinterest and search hand knit socks, there are so many endless possibilities out there for you to make so many different designs and colors. And you know, just, it is, it, actually it's quite overwhelming to be honest, but it's just, you're never gonna get bored of it because you can change it up so much and you can just customize it. Also, you can customize like the length of the socks. Like I have mostly kind of like ankle socks, not quite ankle, but like the two part is longer, but you can make, I guess, I'm getting my socks turned all mixed up, but yeah, you can make them shorter and not come up to your calf or not come up to your knee or however long you want them. You could make them toeless if you really felt like being crazy. There's so many different ways that you can make them and I think that just makes it so fun so everyone can make that pair of socks that's gonna make them happy. I think one of the greatest perks of starting to craft is the community that comes along with it and that's where my reason number nine comes from and, and that is the amazing community that is out there for sock knitters. There are people that exclusively knit socks. They don't knit anything else. That's all that they do. And there are so many resources and free patterns and tutorials on YouTube and Ravelry and different blogs. And everyone is so helpful and so welcoming. And it's just a really kind of side community. Obviously you have the overall like knitting or crochet community, depending on what you like to do. But there's like this almost sub community community of sock knitters and I just think it's so cool to kind of be a part of that community by knitting socks. And my last reason, reason number 10, which is probably one of my favorite reasons, is hand knit socks are such a fun way to elevate an outfit, to help give a look some oomph or some color or some texture or whatever that might be. If you're anything like me, when you get to this point in winter, you really get tired of your winter clothes and you're ready for spring and summer and you kind of are craving that something fresh and new and for me that's like a pop of color and I feel like socks are such a fun way to do that. You can wear them over leggings, you can wear them with boots, so you can kind of see that little pop of color or texture or whatever it is that you are wanting from it come into your outfit. There's been times where I have worn a pair of my knit socks and I've created an outfit around it. Like that was my starting point were the socks and everything else complemented the socks. Or if I just kind of have like a boring outfit, like, oh, I'm just have a sweatshirt and some leggings on and some slip on shoes. If I put my hand knit socks on, it just makes it feel more like me. And I just feel more comfortable wearing whatever outfit that is. Like I said earlier, I only have three pairs of hand knit socks, but I am so, so excited to be able to create more and have different colors and textures. And I really want to get actually into color work a lot. So there's just like so much, so many things that I want to try with socks that I'm so excited to do. If you have made it to this part of the video, thank you so much for sticking around, and I hope that I have thoroughly convinced you to join the hand-knit sock cult. Let me tell you, you will not be disappointed and you will not regret, regret. <laughs> You will not regret your decision to join. It is such a fun place and I seriously have so much fun knitting socks and wearing the socks that I make. Thanks again so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, it would mean so much to me if you clicked on my face right there in the middle and subscribed to my channel. Or if you want to see the process of my froggy socks, you can click the video to the left. I will see you in the next video.